Hi Cancer, welcome to your August reading 2018. And I've got my miniature cards here. I'm going to be doing a different kind of spread and I'm going to try that for all the signs for August. And um, I'm getting some messages already and I'm seeing those old cartoons. You know where you... Uh, I don't know what era this was. It's those old, old cartoons where they were, um, they sometimes would, I don't know if it was Sylvester the Cat, um, where sometimes there was like a little devil on one shoulder and then an angel on the other. And I keep seeing... Now, I don't know if it's because Sylvester is a tuxedo cat and Nicholas is a tuxedo cat. If you watch my videos, you know about my cat, Nicholas, and he's a very spiritual cat. Um, but so it could be the message that somebody is getting a cat. I also feel something about, though, weighing options or you know, having to make a decision between two, like you're at a crossroads or uh, there's a pathway and you've got to decide, am I going to take this road or am I going to take this road? Um, there's also, it could be a message about taking the high road in a, in a situation. Um, so we'll just have to see what the cards have to say. I do feel that the signs... Capricorn uh, may be of significance, also Virgo and Taurus. I'm being pulled towards the earth signs. And there may be a situation, I'm seeing, um, I there may be a, a situation where somebody is returning. There's either a situation that returns or a person that returns. So this is definitely in love. For some of you, I feel like you're, you're fighting or dealing with, um, I'm getting the word addiction. There might be an addiction of some kind. And if it's not you, it could be somebody very close to you that is dealing with an addiction or having a hard time letting someone or something go in their life. So let me focus here. Cancer for August 2018. Cancer, August 2018, the most important message. Okay, well, that flipped over. So we're going to start here. It's the Four of Wands. I already saw it. Um, so let me put it out. The Four of Wands. And like I said, I'm going to do a, a different um, spread. Oh, my gosh. Talking about somebody from the past, we have the Six of Cups. Okay. Oh my gosh. And the Queen of Pentacles. So what I'm hearing is out with the old, in with the new. And somebody may be around you that's having a difficult time dealing with this. It's interesting too, because I... With the four, well, six plus four is 10. So something is ending so that something new can begin. The fours to me speak of foundation, structure, and stability. And this is also the fourth house is ruled by cancer. Um, but I feel like the, this being in the challenge position there's somebody or a situation that keeps happening over and over again. And it can be for positive or it can be for negative. It's going to be different regarding each person. You'll know if this message applies to you, 
how it will relate. Let me move this forward so you can see it better. I do feel um, that some of you are going to be moving or traveling, taking a trip back home. There's something about home or rebuilding a new home. So this can be uh, actually building a home, but I'm also, oh, Nicholas just joined us here. There he is. He just loves that crystal. And I just saw an orb go by. It was right about here. So getting back to the reading as we're watching Nicholas, I do feel that some of you are rebuilding a home. It can be physically, like something is getting rebuilt or restored. Restoration is a word that I'm hearing. So restoring something or trying to restore a relationship. But I feel like for some of you, it could be a building. I also feel like it could be work and or school. Like some of you may be going back to school to do something that you used to do, or you are looking for a job and doing something that you used to do. Uh, you may also run into somebody from the past, I feel, and this person can be in the workplace or in, in the school that you find them. Let me go ahead and angle this back down here. Okay. I do feel that some of you may be hearing of an announcement. It may be the birth of a child or that somebody is pregnant. I also feel that somebody may be revisiting the past, but in this sense, I feel again that this could be a family reunion, a high school reunion, college, sorority, fraternity reunion, something like that. You may also get in touch with somebody on Facebook or through social media is another way that it's coming up. Some of you, I feel like, are going to be traveling in August and it's um, to attend a wedding or you'll hear of a wedding or an engagement. The other thing that I'm getting is that somebody is traveling and I feel like this is overseas possibly and I'm getting something with textiles and fabric so you may I'm getting imports and exports so you might be in charge of something that is dealing with with um I, I don't know this could be rugs this could be um, fashion design uh, designing elements, interior design, interior decorating. That's what's coming up here. I want to see what's underneath. Um, I do want to say, though, that somebody may be having a hard time letting you go. That you're moving on and they're having a hard time with it. Now, because I am reading for thousands of you, it could be the other way around where... You're having a hard time letting someone go. It can also be that maybe you've met somebody over the summer and with August people, you know, some people are going back to school and it's uh, like summer love comes to an end because of distance. Ah, we have the Ace of Wands. So there's definitely a decision to make. There's the potential, though, for something new to begin. And isn't it interesting, again, the six and the four, like I said, is 10, which then reduces down to a one. For me, the court cards don't count as a number, but the ace of wands does, and one plus one is two. So uh, there is definitely, with the two, I feel like there's, again, balance is going to be important. Some of you are at a crossroads. You have a decision to make in terms of partnerships. 
in terms of relationship, uh, in terms of business or school, what path you're going to be going on. So there's going to be a major choice um, or, again, at, at a crossroads. But this Ace of Wands, this is the potential for something new to begin. So it's power, it's passion, it's creation. So you're creating things, uh, new ideas, and definitely can be new love coming in for some of you. And it can be the return of, I feel, with this card here. And again, it's in my challenge position, okay? So with this being in the challenge position, it's almost like to me as it's in reverse. So be careful of getting stuck. You don't want to get stuck in the past or stuck with... Um, a situation that isn't moving because you definitely have the potential for something to move forward here. And this is new beginnings. Um, you're, you're definitely building something that, especially here with a with the queen of pentacles, and this can represent energy, can represent a person, um, but this is definitely something that is grounding. I feel like you are moving away from something that maybe wasn't so healthy that um, it's becoming healthier, I guess is a better way to put it, or from moving from something that's been keeping you stuck to something that is going to fulfill you in a very beautiful positive way. This also indicates fruition, fulfillment in the home, family, in the workplace, um, health-wise. So I feel like you are detaching from something, and maybe that's why I was getting the devil and the angel, you know, sitting on each shoulder. It's like one says one thing and one says the other, and you're going to have a decision to make. But I think that some of you, or quite a few of you, are moving towards prosperity and uh, something very healthy, something very fulfilling. So these are just some messages that are coming through. Remember, if you'd like a private reading with me, you can reach me at moonwatertarot.com and click on Tarot Services or schedule a reading right away. All right. Thank you so much for watching. Take care. Bye.